Well, it's a different approach to dealing with young offenders in the courtroom while giving teenagers in the community real life experience with the legal system. News Channel 6 is Ashley Campbell here now to talk about this Columbia County program. And Ashley, it really is helping the county in a number of ways. Well, that's right, Brad. It's a joint effort among Columbia County Community Connections and the juvenile court system. First time offenders are tried by teens and sentenced by teens. It gives students looking to get into law an inside look at how the system works, and it saves the juvenile court system time and taxpayer money. Bailey Watkins says she didn't know if law was her thing until she decided to be a part of teen court through Columbia County Community Connections. From there, she says she feels she's made a difference. Go through teen court has made me realize that I want to be an attorney for like the military and then like retire and go into the juvenile court after. Watkins says she found teen court so interesting she decided to do her senior project on it. Teens who were part of the program are the lawyers, the jury, the bailiff, even the court clerk inside the classroom. The person being tried is also a teen, a first-time offender. The one thing that I love about this program is it takes the negative and turns it into a positive because part of their sentence that their peer sentenced them to is they have to in turn serve on jury duty. So I've had quite a few that are still with me from serving their jury duty. They liked it so much. Director Kari Paz says it gives students interested in law real life experience. It also allows juvenile court to keep first offenders from behind bars, allowing them to focus on more serious offenders and saving the system money. Oh, it saves tons. It saves the citizens tons of money because teen court's all a voluntary basis and there's no money that's required from tax. Dollars. And it teaches decision making, debate skills, along with responsibility. Just ask Ania Bledsoe, who's currently a part of Teen Court. The people involved have to actually receive real cases. So once we receive those cases, we have about two weeks to prepare our case. So you have to be very responsible in getting all the right information about the people who you'll be prosecuting or either defending. Teens developing life skills inside and outside the courtroom to better their future. If you're a student who's interested in joining Teen Court, I'm going to be putting all the information you need on our website. Just go to WJBF.com. Jenny? All right, Ash.